hello everyone and welcome to today's zoom meeting please if you can hear me can you give me a yes on the chat all right give me a yes on the chat if you can hear me well if you can't hear me then you need to enable your i can see someone here um your i don't know maybe it's your network your audio or your mic is not enabled so you won't be able to hear me all right thank you so much for acknowledging that you can hear me now today we are going to look at binance features um, before I go into the chat and then take your questions about you know how to trade features with Binance, I just want to give you a few reasons why you should consider trading features, why you should consider trading features with the Binance exchange. So um, aside its popularity, there are other benefits that comes with trading with the Binance exchange. So after this, we go into the chat, I show you um, things you need to know and then I will then take your questions, okay? So kindly mute yourself um, at the end of my presentation you can unmute yourself and make your input so to jump into it um, if you are seeing this on YouTube and maybe th this is your first time of seeing my videos on YouTube and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then you want to consider subscribing not just subscribing make sure you hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on the channel and if you want to learn more about crypto trading to join zoom meetings like this then link to join um, the telegram group where the link to the zoom meeting is posted will be in the video description so i have equally dropped a link to binance exchange um my affiliate link on the chat i will equally leave it in the video description so if you don't have a binance account already consider you know um signing up with the link that we have provided so the first on my list here is the different arrays of trading pairs where you can select from you know with the binance exchange there are more than 500 crypto trading pairs where you can select from and when we jump into the um, chat when we jump into the practical aspect of it i'll show you how these are categorized let's say you want to select pairs that are related to nfts you want to select tokens that are related to DeFi. And the rest or the binance matching contract i will show you all of that but one thing i want to let you know here is that there are more than 500 trading pairs from the binance exchange most especially when it comes to futures trading that you can select from and the more these trading pairs the more opportunity it gives you as a trader uh, because you see opportunity in each of um, these categories that binance has been able to categorize all of these trading pairs which i will show you once we jump into it um, the second on my list is that binance has the highest liquidity uh, when we talk about liquidity what it simply means um, on your own part as a trader is that with the high this high liquidity um, you expect your buy and sell orders to get fee promptly without you know having to worry about slippage now, when we talk about slippage in the crypto market, slippage is, for instance, you have, let's say you have $50,000 uh, $50, or you have $100,000 and you want to trade that at once. In most cases, when the liquidity is very low uh, with some of these exchange, your order will not be filled at once. You know, you can have some other field, maybe 10000 will go buying at a different price. You know, the, the slippage makes your order to buy at different prices and that way it affects you so if you don't get it filled at the best price in the market because of low liquidity then it affects you as a trader because some of these exchange will split that amount of money into different prices you know some will be filled at let's say you enter the market at 37,000 some will be filled at 37 some will be filled at 37,100 some will be filled just like that that is what slippage is all about but with you know, Binance high liquidity, you are sure that your buy and sell order get filled promptly without, you know, worrying about this slippage of a thing. And the next on my list is low fee. I have mentioned this time with that number that if you want to consider trading crypto with any exchange, the first thing you want to have at mind is the fee, the fee structure, the fee structure of that particular exchange. Now, let me just show you um, how low um the binance fee structure is by just going to the exchange let me just do that now all right so this is the trading fee um page of the binance and one good thing is that you will pay more lower fee if you are holding um the binance stable coin called busd or if you are holding the binance native coin called um um, BNB. So if you are holding any of these tokens on your exchange, you pay more lower fee. As you can see, for spot trading, you pay up to you know you get up to twenty percent off 
your trading fee and then for features you get um 10 off of your trading trading fee if you are holding either the bnb or the binance um, native token called the busd so this is this um trading um fee structure you see they are all categorized by sport margin you know um, usdc features um coin features and the rest so um my focus there because we are de dealing with features i'm just going to focus on the usd and features trading so here it all depends the um high the fee benefits that you get all depends on your level actually from you know vip zero to um the highest level here which is vip nine you see that you can go your fee can go as low as 0 0.0000 you understand so these are all the fees structure that you can pay depending on your level and the amount of bnb that you may be holding on your account so i will equally leave a link um to this page so that you go study it and understand um let's say you want to look at either the sport uh, aspect of it and other um, trading types or trading style on the binance exchange you go ahead and click on anyone you want and you see all of the fees but the thing here is binance charges a very low fee and that makes you as a trader keep majority of your profit and remember what i've often said that you don't want to be like what they say my people normally say that um monkey they work bamboo they chop if you trade with an exchange that charges very high fee at the end of the day you see that fee alone will deduct all of the profit that you're making so in that case you will not get to make anything so Another reason why you should consider trading finance uh, features is because of their low fee structure. Okay, and the next I have on the list here is that um, because Binance is global and um, Binance has the highest number of active users um, compared to any other crypto trading exchange you can ever think of. And that is because they have more than 28 million active users on this platform. And because of this number of users, it has a way of affecting the trading volume on the binance exchange the higher the trading volume the better it is for you as a trader and as a matter of fact binance was responsible for over 7.7 .7 trillion dollars 7.7 .7 trillion dollars in crypto exchange volume as a 2021 as a 2021 binance was responsible for 7.7 .7 trillion dollars in exchange trading uh, volume actually so this alone you know gives you that um confidence that yes you believe in what a lot of persons believe in okay and the next one i have on the list here is the multilingual um support finance offers support in over 17 different languages and the advantage of this is to make sure that they help users around the world around the globe you know who wants to take advantage of the crypto revolution so if you speak a particular language um, out of this 17 language that binance um, actually offer their support you are sure that you are getting you know help from it aside english okay you get support from these 17 different languages based on the region you are coming from so you are sure of that and this is um actually an advantage for you to be able to assess most especially those who are not english speaking they have countries or nations or so you are sure that you can benefit from all of these 17 different languages and the last but not the least on my list here is that you can be rest assured that your funds are safe when we talk about safe or safe or whatever that is pronounced this s-a-f-u uh, whatever the pronunciation is you are sure that with binance actually okay that with binance you because of the insurance that they have you know the amount of money they are put into insurance to insure the user's phone is that your phones are safe i have heard of um uh, you know often time i've had the issue where people ask um, what happens to my phones and the rest and i refer those who normally give their money out to platform to trade for them and the rest i tell them the risks you're actually facing is that those platform can disappear okay and you will not have access to your to your phones and the reason for this zoom meeting is to make sure that you understand trading and do this trading yourself instead of trusting platform that will run away with your phones okay so binance has um, insurance funds for um to protect their users and that is what they call safu the safu stands for secure asset funds for users okay and there is over 300 million dollars set aside for for this um particular um 
um, in insurance funds that Binance has set aside. So with all of these reasons I've given you, you see more reasons why you need to trust Binance and see that it is a platform that has gone global, you know, it's something that everybody wants to do it. What I like mostly is because of the low fee structure. That has been my emphasis in all of my Zoom meetings, okay? When you want to trade futures, um, one thing you need to consider is the low fee. And uh, when you exchange charges low fee, you know that at the end of the day, after your labor, you have something to take home. So with that, and then the number of crypto trading pairs you can select from, with that, you know that you can be trading with Binance with confidence and not get to worry about, you know, not making anything at the end of the day. So with this being said, I'll jump into the exchange now. I'll log into my account. We'll go into the exchange and then let me show you how to set up this future trading and then I'll take your questions after that, okay? So if you have any question related to Binance, either features, whatever it is, you ask that questions and I'll provide the answers. So this is how the trading, if you come in here to the homepage to be able to assess your futures trading platform, you come in here to derivatives. And when you come to derivatives, you want to go down and click on this um, USDM features. What it simply means, if you are using the USDM features, it means that you are going to be trading with USDT and you'll be settled in USDT. As you can see here, perpetual or quarterly contract are settled in USDT or BUSD. So here you can trade. It means that for you to be able to trade here, you need to have BUSD or have USDT in your account. And when you are trading features with the M, uh, USD M features, you will be settled in BUSD or USDT. Why the coin M features means that if I'm trading here, yeah, you'll be settled in cryptocurrency. For example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other cryptocurrency that you have. So our focus is on the uh, M USDT M features. So once you click on it, it brings you to this interface. And here on this interface, all we just need to do is to first select um, the crypto pair you want to trade where you see B, uh, BTC USDT here you go ahead and select the crypto pair you want to trade if I want to trade BTC BUSD all I just need to do is to type in BTC here the first one here is BTC BUSD meaning that I need to have BUSD on my account to be able to trade if I'm selecting this first option the second one is USDT, meaning that I need to have USDT in my account to be able to trade the second option. Um, do me a favor by muting yourself, okay? Do me a favor by muting yourself. Please, do me a favor by muting yourself until you are asked to unmute yourself, okay? So once again, if I come in here, once I type in BTC, you see all of the pairs that are related to BTC that you can trade. You can equally trade with USD, you know, the US dollars if you are in a country where you can, you know, have US dollars in your account directly and so on. So these are all the pairs you can trade. And perpetual, that you see some are perpetual, some are quarterly. And this quarterly means that you see these numbers that are attached to it, meaning that, um, for instance, this BTC USDT, if you start trading this, this contract will expire uh, on the 25th of March. And uh, this will expire on the 25th of March, and this will be on the 24th of June. So those are all of the uh, quarterly and the perpetual you can trade here. You can go ahead and search for anyone you want to trade. For instance, if I want to trade Litecoin, I'll go ahead and search for Litecoin, USDT, Litecoin, BUSD, or Litecoin. Okay, there's no BUSD on Litecoin. So it is only Litecoin, BUS, uh, USDT, and Litecoin, USD, perpetual. Then Litecoin, USD, quarterly, Litecoin, USDT, uh, quarterly as well. Any token at all you want to trade, if I want to trade Dogecoin, for instance, I can trade Doge BUSD, I can trade Doge um, with my USDT, I can trade Doge with my US dollars, and so on. If it is Shiba Inu, just go ahead and type Shiba. Now, when it comes to trading perpetual, you, you are not going to see um, Shiba USDT. What you will see here on the Binance Exchange, what you will see here is this 1,000 Shiba BU, uh, 1,000 Shiba USDT. Okay, this is the only way you can trade Shiba Inu. This represents Shiba Inu on the futures trading interface on Binance. Okay, so once you finish selecting your pair here, the next thing is to come in here to this interface and either select your margin. Your margin could either be isolated or cross. So you can go ahead and select cross or select my, um, isolated and the rest and go ahead and confirm. And once you confirm that, select the leverage at which you want to trade. 
place as a beginner, always make sure that you're trading between 1x leverage and then the 10x leverage. Don't go more than that so that even when you have access to trade 1 to 5x leverage, don't use it so that you don't end up, you know, until when you are confident of what you're doing in the market and you have enough funds to cover up for your margins, then you can go ahead and use this option to trade. And after that, you go ahead and take, this is where you can set your take profit, you know, set your take profit there, yeah, you can buy long or you can sell long. Selling long, uh, sell short or buy long. Selling short means that you are predicting that the price will continue to go down. And if it goes in your favor, you make profit. Buy long means that you're predicting that the price will continue to go up. And if it goes in your favor, you are going to make profit from it. So basically that is the basic step-by-step -step, um, what I have for you this evening. This is just what I have for you this evening. Any other thing that you don't understand there, I think your questions will be able to help me enlighten me more on that. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. My name is Genesis, and uh, I really want to thank you for you know taking your time to you know come here and teach us all of this. It means a lot to me. Uh, but uh, the, the the whole feature trading is really really. Uh, uh, complicated for me, especially with the leverage point. I, I don't understand what that is and how you know it is used. Leverage is what it simply means is that you are borrowing funds from the exchange to trade. Okay. Now, okay. if I have hundred dollars on my account and I am going to use twenty x leverage, it means that I'm going to be trading with my hundred dollars. I'm going to be trading with 20 times that hundred dollars. You understand? The size of the trade okay. I can carry at the means that it is 20 times that hundred dollars. In this um, in this case, I will be trading, um, I'll be carrying out a trade worth about two thousand dollars. Okay. With hundred dollars, yes. I can be trading BTC worth two thousand dollars. Meaning okay. that if I make profit, in this case, I am making profit of let's say somebody uh Trader A is trading with $2,000 and you are trading with $100. Because you are using 20x leverage, you can be trading the equivalent of what that trader A is trading. Yeah, the with. same level with the Exactly. Trader. So if trader A was supposed to make 1% of $2,000, you with your $100 can be making 1% of $2,000 as well. You understand? But in this yes. case, why it is risky is that um, the more the leverage you use, the closer your liquidation price goes. When you are liquidated, when you are liquidated in the market, you can lose everything that you are trading with because you are trading with leverage. Go to your investment as well. Exactly. Because you are trading with leverage, you can lose everything. For instance, if I want to trade BNB uh, USDT, if I go ahead and type BNB here, um, the first one is BNB BUSD. Since I have USDT in my account, I will click the second one, which is this. If I click mm -hmm. on that, uh, let's say. <coughs> I want to trade with a 15 minutes time frame. I'm going ahead to, I'll go ahead and look for, you know, an opportunity to long the market. I've, I've not done my analysis, for instance. If I long this market, yeah, I'll go ahead and place a trade. If I go ahead and place a trade, uh, okay, for the purpose of this demonstration, let me just go ahead and long this market with market order, for instance. If I, have, I use market order, yeah. Um, <coughs> Yeah, it will tell me the size. The market I'm, order, I'm sorry. The market order is the current price, right? Yes, it will trade with the current, you know, the current price, whatever the current okay. available price is, that's what it's going to trade with. Why limit? Limit, I will need to specify the, at where I want to enter the market. I can specify that, okay, I want to enter this market at 38,000. I want to long the market at, you know, 39. It all depends. But when I use market orders, you use, you know, the available or the market price to enter that trade for me. Yeah, to, to enter the market. Yeah. So now what I can do is um, I can actually trade, come in here to say, uh, because I'm trading with 20x leverage and I'm trading with isolated, I can come in here to say I want to trade one BNB. If I click on one BNB here, um, now, Binance will tell me that it will cost me $18.87.
but I only have eighteen dollars eighty cents of my futures uh, account there, so it means that this will not go through. Okay, but if I want to trade like zero point five BNB, um, it will cost me just nine dollars to trade mm. zero point five BNB. Now, um, alternatively, if I don't want to type in what I want to trade there, I can use this slider here, the percentage slider. Yeah, the percentage of what you have. Exactly. If it is thirty percent, I'm using. Or thirty percent means that it is thirty percent of this account balance that I have here, right? That is what I'm yes. going to use. And uh, Binance is saying this will cost me five dollars five years because I'm using thirty percent. It's going to cost me five dollars for today's cent. And um, another Vanessa, side, sorry, sir, the image is blocking the this thing. Which of the image? That is your profile picture. Sorry, I'm, I'm not getting that clear. Okay? It is from his side. You say your image, but not your image. Uh, okay, it is from, no, from your side. side is clear. You, you can actually minimize the image that is blocking. Are you assessing this from a phone or from a laptop? It's clear on from my side. My hand, from, my, from my hand, is, I'm using my phone. So slide to your, I, I think it should be to your right to be able to see the chat. I don't know why my image is blocking. Slide to the right to be able to see the chat. I'm sharing my screen. so. My image should not be appearing. I can't yeah. see very well. Okay, From okay, our, okay. I moved it. it I moved it. All right. All right. So now that you moved it, if you can see here on, on where, since I'm using the slider here, 30% of this will cost me, you see the cost down here. It will cost me $5. Okay. So because it will cost me $5, the next thing I need to do is to set take profit and stop loss. So my take profit, for instance, um, the price is at uh, 37 374, Three, right? 374. Let's say yeah. I want to take profit at 380. If I go ahead and put 380, sorry, take profit. Three hundred and eighty, and stop loss. I can put my stop loss at, uh, for instance, let me say 350. Um, sorry, I'm just entering this market. It's not as if I analyze it. It's just to demonstrate this for you. So if I push stop loss here, I'll go ahead and click on buy long. So I can go ahead and click on buy long here. And because I use market order, you see that the order is filled immediately. So now that the order is filled, you see it here, um, that the size of, this is it, we are trading with 20 years leverage. Um, the size of what we are trading is 0 0.2329 BNB. The entry price was this, and the market price, the current market price is this. And will be liquidated because I'm using 20s. Will be liquidated if this market goes down to 357. Okay, if the market goes down to 357, I'm going to lose the five dollars that I'm risking here. How much did it cost? Okay, the margin is actually um, five dollars forty-four cent. Yes. Yeah, so if I'm liquidated, I'll be losing this money. Okay. So once I'm liquidated, oh. I will lose this money, and that is because I am using isolated. If I was using cross, it would be the whole of account balance that I will, I will, I will I'm risking. But in that case, the liquidation price, if I use cross, will be further because I'm using my whole account balance. So that is what is here. And this is my P and L. And then the uh, profit, if it is showing plus, whatever is showing here in USDT means that that is the profit you are making. If it is showing minus red, it means that that is what you are losing. So if if, for instance, I didn't set my take profit and stop loss, I would have come in here. If I still want to adjust it, I can come in here to this icon here, click on it to edit it, and I can go ahead and edit that take profit and stop loss. But does that mean that um, if you see that you are going down, as in going downward to liquidation, or you see that uh, the, 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 the trade has a potential of still going forward, like upward, you can quickly go there to adjust your take profit and stop loss. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much for all of this. It's really very helpful. All right, so um, this uh, trade is actually going in our favor. If I have staked, um, you know, a reasonable amount of money here with 4%, I would have been making money. You can imagine staking like uh, 10,000, 5,000 here. Um, yeah. 4% of 5,000, what would have I have given you? That is a lot of money for you and you. You, know, you don't even need for this to hit this and you would have just closed the trade. So because you are using um you, you the money you you staked here was uh, 
uh, I think five five dollar, right? Yes, five dollars. And then you put it on a a ten x uh, leverage. Twenty uh, x. Twenty x leverage. Yes. And then so how much are you spending now since it's on a twenty x leverage? How much is did you use for this trade? Yeah, because I'm using 20x leverage, I'm only risking five dollars to be able to trade that. You okay. understand? Uh -huh. yes. So now, if I have added more money, let's say I've had like hundred dollar here, what that, that means have, your five dollar gave you a hundred dollar. Uh, that a hundred and exactly. Now, if I've added, I've risked more than hundred dollar to trade this zero point two nine. Uh, my profit would have increased more because I have more money here. And then my liquidation price would have gone to either 300 or whatever because I have more funds here to be able to trade that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, any other question? <laughs> 